For the Bundeswehr, it's never as simple as just climbing on board and setting off. When over a hundred vehicles travel across Germany, good coordination is key. Here, heavy, wide-load vehicles are part of a long convoy. They must react quickly to actual road conditions and sometimes even have to change route. They'll need to cross several stretches of water on the way. But what do they do when there's no bridge? This is just one of many challenges faced on any given day. The 803rd Armoured Engineer Battalion in Hafelberg. The soldiers ensure their vehicles are good to go, measure the oil level one last time and carry out a technical check. When issuing orders, the company commander relays instructions before they set off. Speed, clearance, detours, what to do in the event of a breakdown. We join them for three days on a road movement with 129 vehicles. The military police drive ahead. They manage traffic. Subsequent vehicles have a blue flag. The last vehicle has a green flag. This ensures that vehicles are easily identifiable as being part of a convoy formation. During this sort of movement, anything can happen, like traffic accidents, when we would, of course, provide first aid. We travel in a convoy. Nevertheless, even here, we have to be considerate of civilian road users. It may be that some vehicles malfunction during the journey, and then we have to respond too, so they are repaired and the movement can continue. The convoy makes good progress. Soon it will be time to refuel. For most vehicles, a civilian petrol station won't do. That's where the logistic soldiers come in. Today we're doing a field refuel. We always have our tank trucks with us. We're mobile. Today we have a throughput of about 15,000 litres, which allows us to refuel the entire battalion of about 100 vehicles. What matters most in a field refuel? To attend to all vehicles as quickly as possible and to coordinate so that the fuel tanker has no downtime. Of course, we monitor the throughput volume so we always know when the tank truck has to refuel us again. Once fully tanked, the soldiers continue their journey. The next obstacle, the Elbe. The Bundeswehr doesn't rely on bridges. The convoy has its own. Sappers deploy the M3 amphibious rigs. They drive from the bank into the river and fold out the side wings. The soldiers connect the rigs together. It takes only 10 minutes to form a type of ferry. Two of these can now carry the 100 or so convoy vehicles across the Elbe. But it's not all about driving. Where they spend the night is crucial. They look for a suitable area of woodland. First of all, we established a secure position. There's a 360 degree threat, so we have perimeter guarding. We camouflage the vehicles as far as the terrain allows. Then the soldiers are organized so that some prepare the sleeping quarters, others prepare the fire pit so that the water can be prepared too. They even start to prepare the next movement orders, so we can continue our journey in the morning. The next day, the group reaches another river, the Hafel. Amphibious rig company soldiers are deployed. In barely one hour, they have constructed a bridge across the 100-meter wide Hafel. Tanks, HGVs, all battalion vehicles can continue the movement without issue. Soldiers use these exercises to prepare for an emergency, national and allied defense. The whole thing is the result of the changing parameters of our current security policy. If we now talk about how our changed mandate might mean that we and our partners have to station soldiers on NATO's eastern flank, the question naturally arises, how will the soldiers get there? And this means, if need be, soldiers will have to move for several days with all their equipment so that they are combat ready and able to carry out their mission. The Black Mamba road movement exercise crosses villages and towns, providing the Bundeswehr with a chance to be seen by the general public. <laughs> 